A servo motor is a rotary actuator or linear actuator that allows precise control of angular or linear position velocity and acceleration. It consists of the suitable motor coupled a sensor for position feedback. Servo motor are used in robotic CNC machinery or automated manufacturing applications. Hey all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, what's up? I'm Ehsan. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any other videos with me to help you along your engineering journey. The servo motor require a relatively sophisticated controller, often a dedicated module designed specifically for servo motor. Servo motor are not a specific class of motor. Also, the term servo motor is often used to refer to a motor suitable for use in the closed loop control system. A servo motor is a general term for a specific linear or rotary actuator. Basically, the name servo motor refers to the term servo mechanism, which means that the motor is constantly monitored to control its motion. Servo motors are used in modern automobiles to control their speed. When the accelerator is depressed, it sends electrical signals to the car's computer. The computer then processes this information and sends a signal to the servo attached to the throttle to adjust engine speed. A servo motor is a closed loop servo mechanism that uses position feedback to control its motion and final position. The input to the control is a signal, either analog or digital, representing the position commanded for the output shaft. The motor is paired with a position encoder to provide position and speed feedback. In the simplest case, only the position is measured. The measured position of the output is compared to the command position, the external input to the controller. Suppose the output position differs from that required. In that case, an error signal is generated, which then causes the motor to rotate in either direction, as needed to bring the output shaft to the appropriate position. As the position approach, the error signal reduced to zero and the motor stops. The simplest servo motors use position-only sensing via a potentiometer and bang bang control of their motor. The motor always rotates at full speed. And of course, this type of servo motor is not widely used in industrial motion control, but it's formed the basic of the simple and cheap servos used for radio control model. More sophisticated servo motors use optical rotary encoder to measure the speed of the output shaft and a variable speed drive to control the motor speed. Both of these enhancements, usually in a combination with a PID control algorithm, allow the servo motors to be brought to its command position more quickly and more precisely with less overshooting. Okay guys, if you learned some cool new stuff from today's video, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Servo motors are small and efficient but critical for applications requiring precise position control. The servo motor is controlled by a signal, we call it data, better known as a pulse width modulator or PWM. Here are several of more common servo motor application in use today. Robotics. A servo motor at every joint of the robot is used to actuate movements, giving the robot arm its precise angle. Camera autofocus. An exact servo motor built into the camera correct a camera's lens to a sharp and out of focus image. Solar tracking system. Servo motors adjust the angle of solar panels throughout the day so that each panel continues to face the sun, harnessing maximum energy from sun up to sundown. Automated door openers. Supermarket and hospitals entrance are prime example of automated door openers controlled by servo motors. The signal to open is via push blade beside the door for the handicapped access 
or by radio transmitter position over. The world would be much different place without servo motors. Whether they are used in industrial manufacturing or in commercial application, they make our lives better and easier. The question today is, do you think the servo motor is DC or AC and why? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks. Electric motors have different ways of starting. If you want to know two import way to set them up and of course compare them together, do not miss this great video. In this video, we have discussed VFD and soft starter in detail. Have a good time and see you soon.